Hi, welcome to part two of Game Theory and Breaking Bad, where we'll discuss the importance of thinking ahead. In the first part, we described the difference between decision theory, which was static, and game theory, which is dynamic. In this scene, we're going to make the claim that early on in the show, Jesse's actions are very much in line with a decision theory framework, whereas Walt's actions are much more in line with the game theoretic framework. We're going to show that in a scene from 737. The background is that Walt and Jesse have just seen Tuco beat up and kill a guy in a drug deal for absolutely no reason. Tuco is absolutely crazy. They don't know who they're dealing with. They're over their heads and they fear that Tuco is going to come after them either because he wants to take revenge for no reason or because they're witness to him murdering someone. For their own safety, they decide they need to take action and in the following scene, Jesse describes his plan to shoot Tuco. Alright, so now let's get to an analysis of the scene. We want to demonstrate why Jesse represents decision theory and Walt represents game theory. This is very easily seen just by the idea that the, each of them have. Jesse's idea is very simple, just we need to take action, I'm going to get a gun and shoot Tuco. Walt thinks things through a lot more. It's not just that we can shoot Tuco. The question is, if we shoot Tuco, what will be the reaction? Will there be people around? Will we be able to escape? Will the plan actually work? And this gets to the difference between a decision theory framework in that the planning is just to collect the data and come up with your best course of action. But in game theory, you need to collect a lot more information. You not only need to think about your possible actions, do you have one bullet, two bullets, so forth, when are you going to do this? But you also need to think about the strategies that are available to your opponents. In this case, Walt realizes that Tuco's men are going to be prepared for this. They have to be on guard too. They will have a defense. So what are they going to do about this? The result of this little discussion is that Jesse learns it's just very difficult that he's way over his head. And this will be an important thread throughout the series that Jesse learns more. He learns to not just think things through like an impulsive druggie, he actually learns how to have strategic thinking. Walt just realizes that they need a very sophisticated plan, that it was very nice of Jesse to try, but it's not going to be that simple. And in part three, we're going to show an example of just how far Walt is willing to go to show that they're powerful and that they can take down Tuco. So I hope you join us for part three. And thank you for watching. Uh, you can also follow me on Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Talwalkar.